it is winter in Indiana. And it's not just like a, a nice, mild winter. No, it is a cold winter, snowy winter, grossness everywhere winter. We've, we've been so far removed from the sun that everybody's starting to look like it. You know, we're getting paler. That's what's happening to me. I, I, went, I look better in the summer. I've got this nice tan going on and my hair gets a little bit lighter. It's sun-kissed and it's, it's a lot better uh, for everyone involved. And, and I'm a happier person in the summer when I get some, some sun in my life. Uh, but one of my favorite analogies about spiritual growth actually comes from the idea of, of getting a tan. Um, see if this makes sense. The way that we grow spiritually is by doing things, by, by practicing the faith, by doing things that put us in the path of the grace of God. When we say grace, we don't just mean forgiveness. Uh, when we say grace, we can also mean things like the church has this term for grace, where it's some mysterious way in which God's power works. So uh, things like baptism, like someone makes a profession to, of faith in Jesus, and then we dunk them underwater, it is a symbol of new birth in Christ, but it is also a means of grace. We, in, that, in that act of going underwater and coming up, God does something in a believer's life that we can't quite explain. It is a mystery, but we know that God's power is somehow unleashed in that act. It is a means of grace. So we have things like, like praying or like reading our Bibles. Like I, I carve out time every single day. I plan time where I can spend time in the Word of God most days I hit that mark. Uh, not because I'm always in the mood. I mean, if you know me, you know I actually love reading the Bible. It excites me. It gets me hyped up. But sometimes I'm, I'm just not in the mood. But I know that every single time, God does something in me to strengthen my faith when I spend time with Him. And so I can't make myself grow spiritually. I can't just like sit down and focus really hard and then oop, I grew spiritually, leveled up. Now, that's not how it works, but sort of like getting a tan. When you get a tan, you can't just make the color of your skin darker just by focusing. No, but you can go out into the sun, into the path of these rays, and feel the effects of the sun, and that changes you. Prolonged experience uh, with the sun changes you. That's what spiritual growth is like. It's prolonged experience with God. Being exposed to God changes you. So when you spend time in prayer, when you spend time reading the Bible, when you spend time fasting, when you do acts of service, when you give generously, when you show up at church, something happens inside of you that's a mystery. Something happens in you where you grow. So it's, it's not just about showing up on Sundays. Uh, you, if you show up one time a week, and expect that to be the extent of your spiritual growth and your spiritual feeding and your spiritual tan, you're gonna be pale for a long time. That's not gonna work for you. It's something that has to be intentionally practiced throughout the week. It's something that you've gotta spend time on that you've gotta put into your life, not find time for it, because everybody has the same amount of time. No, you need to plan time for it to practice spiritual disciplines, to practice prayer, to practice studying, the Bible, to interacting with other people in a community of faith, like Way City. The spiritual growth is like getting a tan, um, and it is essential to being a disciple of Jesus. If you want to grow, if you want to follow Jesus, you've got to practice spiritual disciplines at some point or the other.